Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and it has been a minute since we have had a Friday Lego Let's Chat. And we are going to pick up where we left off on the West Hill Main Gate, which is a mock set sent in by Grandpa Crafter. So once again, thank you ever so much, Grandpa Crafter, for the very creative and very fun gift. This is a Lego set designed by uh, Grandpa Crafter based on the West Hill Main Gate that I built in Minecraft uh, several years ago. And we've been working on that West Hill City for quite some time. We're going to be returning to that the next time we play Minecraft, which should be tomorrow. And uh, where we left off with this build is parts pick list 13. So the last thing that we did was put this house part, this um, barracks, I guess, on the front tower, the north tower. Uh, and uh, we are now going to, I think, add other things to it because the north tower is going to continue with parts pick list 13. So unlike... Uh, regular Lego where you have the bags already separated and sorted uh, the pieces for these came in their own individual bags of like you know a couple hundred of those you know several dozen of those that kind of thing so we've got to pull the uh, numbers that we need to do the next step and that's going to happen first and then we're going to move on uh, sweet Sandy thanks very much for the command and chat for the set good to see you obu good to see you dan j chris good to see you as well hope everyone's having a good friday so far it's been a chill rainy day here so it's a good day for lego so let's start with the obvious little black pieces that are easy to spot aha it is getting easier and easier to do these um, parts pick lists because, of course, we have less pieces to sort through. Sweet Sandy, you get 30 centimeters of snow. We have not hit that yet, but it is getting close. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, Six by one, light bluish gray. That looks like those right there. One, two, three, four. No, nope, doesn't look like we need anything else from in there. Dan, you got four centimeters of snow. Wow. We've we've not had a lot of snow the last couple of years. One year it led to some real issues because, of course, without enough snowfall, it um, presents a real uh, forest fire risk in the spring. Uh, some white pieces. Three of these. Five of the squares. And that takes care of the white, except for the one by six. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. like that's in there. Just one. And these are all, oh no, they're not all reddish brown. They are just brown and reddish. Uh, 
Tiles. There. Forty-four of those. Holy crap! Save that for the last. Four by six. That's a red brown, so it's just those four. So we've got part of it sticking into the shot because I really have nowhere else to put it. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So anybody have any big plans this weekend? Pretty chill around here. Going to be looking into maybe taking advantage of some of the Black Friday sales and picking up some new studio gear. I might get some lights for the videos. Some big soft boxes. The problem is trying to figure out which lights on Amazon are not hot trash. There seems to be all kinds of mixed reviews. I find it so difficult with Amazon now to really figure out whether you're getting a good a good deal. I've I've followed a couple of people on YouTube and got some good recommendations, but even what they recommend when you go to look it up on Amazon, it's a decent price, but then you're like, I the reviews are so mixed and you don't know whether the, the product is just crappy or whether maybe quality assurance at that company is just a little bit on the spotty side. So every once in a while somebody gets a complete dud, you know? I tend to prefer YouTube reviews and commentary for equipment over Amazon reviews because it's a lot easier to put bots and crap into Amazon than it is to have a fake YouTube review. Just finished Christmas shopping. Just finishing Christmas shopping, J. Christ? Wow. I haven't even started. No, that's a lie. I picked up one thing. A lot of my family gets like stocking stuffers like beer and candy and stuff like that so it's not um not something i need to rush out you know yeah is there anybody in chat that has photography or video lighting experience Big stuff is already purchased or on its way, but you're left with stocking stuffers. Yeah, that's cool. I find stocking stuffers can sometimes be more fun.
I'm in the stage where my my folks are they don't really want anything they already have all the stuff that they need so like it tends to be like you know the bottle of wine that they like or a box of chocolates that they like my stepfather really likes toffee fay so i always get those actually both my dad and my stepfather get like those so they they each get one <laughs> i mean it's not exactly a surprise on christmas but they're always happy so like i think a lot of dads are like that though <laughs> hard to surprise but perfectly happy with anything <laughs> Six of these. I don't even know what this is. Two, four, six, eight, ten. That's that one. Zero, hello, welcome in. Six, and I need eight of those. not look like I have that. Check the other bags. Uh, did the six four of these? Negative twenty five C is cold, hundred percent. I have experienced that several times in my life. And I do not wish to repeat it. Not super unusual there, yeah. Oh, when I say a few times in my life, I mean like, for a while that would be annual. 
Usually for us, it's January, February, where it hits that cold. End of January. Close to Christmas, it's not, not nearly that cold, usually. I was really hoping they were going to be in there. They are not... Boozy tipped two dollars and sixty three cents. Thanks very much. Had a New Year's Eve when it was minus 32, says Sweet Sandy. Did not stand outside for fireworks. No, I don't imagine you did. Minus 32, that's like your eyeballs freeze. Or at least your eyelashes freeze. Uh, doesn't need any of those. Need two of these. Before I get into the numerous pieces here, I don't know about that one. I'm going to go into these little bags here and see if there's anything kicking around. Specifically, we need two of these 2x4s. Nothing in there. Sorry, folks, my Twitch app was being twitchy. Make my chats back.
Let me folks. Let me know if you folks see that. That is okay. Cool. Thank you, Sandy. No brown pieces in there. Thirty two, four by six. It's a lot of these. is oh this is the long one this is four by eight two four six eight so it looks like the only thing i don't have is a full eight of those and we've got i got six And no way to really make any more. Thirty five of these. Right now, I think we should be able to I've got a funny feeling that these pieces are going to be key, and it's going to be a real pain that I don't have them. Might have to see if I can build up something. It's been a minute since I've done the uh, Lego Let's Chats, but something I like to do to kind of prolong the builds and keep organized is no load the pieces. An idea I got from Adam Savage Mythbusters. I find it really helpful. It's also easy to chat with everybody while we do it. The trickiest part about this build is the size of it, because it's about, I don't know, that wide. And so when we start to add things to it, moving the whole thing into shot is a little tricky. Something I might do, depending on the new sets that we do, is adjust the height of the camera to be able to get a little bit more 
in the shot as far as the Lego table is concerned. Watching a trailer for Path of Exile 2 the other day. It looks really good. I might I might consider playing that on stream. It's been a while since I've done a good dungeon crawler. I think the last one I played was Minecraft Dungeon. Zero, thanks for the lurk. Appreciate it. Is anybody looking forward to Path of Exiles 2? I didn't play Path of Exiles 1, but from what I can tell, the people that I follow seem to be happy with the changes. I was mostly following Co Carnage. I find his analysis seems to be pretty good. Really articulate when it comes to games. Which is good because I think he's developing a game. Can't remember what it's called. Ember Vale, maybe? It's like a pixel top down. I'm not sure what it is. RPG, I guess. I've been trying to find a new RPG, even just to play on my own on the Xbox. I've got Flintlock installed, but I haven't pulled the trigger yet. And um, I don't know whether my PC can handle Horizon Zero Dawn. I do own it on Steam. It's a much older game. But it's the kind of thing I would probably enjoy. I'm not sure whether I would play that with a mouse and keyboard or controller. Probably controller. But I'm pretty sure my Xbox controllers will work with my PC. You just have to find the plugs for them. Or for one, anyway. Well, I say that. I'm not sure if they even came with plugs. I'm trying to think about what else I saw on my list. I tried to get back into Borderlands, specifically Borderlands 3, but I found that it's just, I've got, I'm at this stage, I'm like level 18, where <clears throat> I'm just, I'm using the same gun over and over and over and over again because I managed to pick up one 
that was really good, like face melting biohazard sort of Theodore, you know, um, chemical. I'm not sure what the type of. There's fire, shock. I think it's bio. Anyway, it works really, really well. But because of that, everything I'm picking up just pales by comparison. Like it doesn't matter whether it's a prize chest, boss fight. The weapon I get just does is not as good as what I'm holding. And so I'm really getting kind of bored with just using the same weapon over and over again. And I normally prefer sniping in those kind of games. I think that's all for the brown. I move on to the red brown. And then I will do one last search for the missing pieces. Um, uh, where did those come from? Six of those. Okay. You're getting e an old, Sandy? Your knee hurts today? Um, I find that when my knee starts to bug me, or knees, uh, it's usually that I need to replace my shoes. And I've been having the hardest time replacing my, my sneakers for the gym. Just hard to find. The, basically, I have a very specific model that I used to get from New Balance, and they no longer make it. And the one that they have issued to replace it is either one, not as good, 
Or I got a dud pair where the right one does not feel good at all. The left foot feels fine, but the right one just doesn't. So I don't know whether I've just had, you know, again, qual poor quality assurance or whether the shoes just really aren't the best for me, despite being a, you know, replacement for what I had. They are certainly not comfortable. Oh, you got something that flares up? Yeah. I find injuries are like that too. On screen? Technically. How many of these were there supposed to be? 32. One, two, three, four, eight. Oh. Correct number. I think I mentioned this last time, but I've got a bit of a, a buckle in my, my vinyl table topper. And so when it gets close to the edge, they kind of, they don't lay flat anymore. I'm not sure whether it's just warped over time or whether it's come loose. The surface of the table underneath is black, which would be great, but it's shiny, and so the lights bounce off of it. I'd like to get a matte white table, but I don't have the room for it in this space. Well, unfortunately, I don't know about these extra pieces. I need two more of those somewhere, somehow. Uh, this is around the time where I normally take a break. And so I'm going to do that and also look for either those pieces or something I can use to replace them. And I'll be back in about five or seven minutes. You get to chill amongst yourselves, maybe share the stream with friends. I will be right back.
So I was not able to find two. I found one, but it wasn't in a bag. It was part of a couple of pieces I had set aside um, that were inside the barracks. So there was like a flower pot and something in there. And I, I really don't care about, about it. So um, I'm going to leave that uh, out of wherever that was supposed to be in there. And utilize one here. And again, I don't know where that goes. Hermes Akumu, thanks for streaming. Watching the build has been a great start to my morning. Well, thanks very much for the tier one sub. Very much appreciated. Six months at tier one. That's amazing. Thank you so much, Hermes. Uh, the other thing that I've got going is I have enough of my little pieces left over from all of the other Lego builds that I've done where they leave you these little tiny bits. So I basically have enough to make a two by four plate. And I chose white because it'll be a lot easier to spot when I break it down later. Right, so we can use that in place. I think when I peeked ahead at the instructions that it's, um, that these are gonna be used in places where I should be able to hide it from what I can tell. If not, I will do my best. It might not work out that way. Step 225. And guessing that's one of the, yeah. Fortunately, it's very hard to see where the lines are. Really not sure. Looks like this get, gets actually attached to the building. Yeah. Might have to count some studs here. And Jonathan, thanks for the follow and welcome in. Hope you're having a good Friday. A couple of these and then go together like that. And then this goes sideways that way. So the inside of that is two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six. Oh, okay. Not a small piece of kit. And that's the window. I've got this going the wrong way. You guys can't see that. So 
over the window is where this piece is supposed to go. And one of these. I really don't understand. Or maybe it's front. I can't really tell. Wondering if this thing can be put together on the ground on its own. Also doesn't seem like it's the right shape. Oh, it goes there. That's why. So then where does the where does that go? That's going to be seen from the outside, so we'll try to use the brown one there. That one. Goes across here. Well, that doesn't line up. I guess they don't overlap. And then two of these here. Rimmers, SDK, hello, welcome in. McScrewgun, subscribing at tier one. 43 months, that's amazing. Still working on this gate, I see. The quest will never be done. Yep, that's the vibe. That's the vibe. I don't think I could replace either of those. Now we need 11 of these. Three, five, nine, and 11. Eight. So 
So this, all right, so this will assemble kind of all together. I'm pretty sure this is going to be seen from the outside. Yeah. This, oh, this one looks like it gets hidden. We can probably use this here. Because I don't care if the white shows on the inside. Can you see that on camera? Real close to the bottom. So that's the second layer. Gets it all like that. With a bit of an overhang, I guess, over the door or the window. I always find plates so difficult to work with. Okay. Camera is frozen. Thank you. Uh, must this, that means. Sorry about that. Um, well, that narrows the problem because this is a different camera. So this is my Sony A5100. 5100? 6100? I don't remember. Uh, this is the first camera that I got. And that means that it is a cam link problem or an OBS problem, not a camera problem. So that's good because both of those are less expensive than cameras. Although for the price that you pay for a cam link, they should work. And then this goes here. Right, and this was replaced by that. Yeah. 
three of these left. And two, what? By the way, two twenty nine. One more. If it's a miscount and I only needed five instead of six, then that's a real pain in, in the butt. Got one that goes here. Two that go here. The problem is that this doesn't sit flat, so you don't have a hard surface to press down on. Sorry if it's not the easiest thing to see, but got to jam this stuff together because we have more stuff to pile on top of it. Stacking plates is not the best way to do this, I don't think. I don't have enough of these. No, just. Nope, I'm uh, missing one. I thought I counted that correctly. Ah, uh, what I've done is I've put probably this one is meant to be brown, not red brown. And then we flip it over. Twenty eight, two of those. Did I not grab the two plates? What were they? Red brown? Red brown. No worries, Sandy. Thanks very much.
these little guys go in here. These little guys go here. No idea whether that's the right depth because there's no indication. And then we've got two here. One in from the corner. And then this one has got a space. Three there, and then we just fill it in. Oh, that should be it. That one, two there, two there, three, three, and then that. Another scene of these. Are no more I really wish that the counts on these would be correct. Yeah, I only needed two. But now it's saying that I need two more. We have spares. That's the rest of these. goes in the corners. Usually these are um, in the Minecraft build, they're trapdoors. They used to make sort of like dental work details in the build. So when you're looking at the underside of the roof line, it has like this, this kind of tooth pattern, right? Flip. At least it's flat now.
That's supposed to have an extra piece on it, I guess. Did I miss a step? Yeah. That is going to go somewhere. I said to figure out where. One thing that's nice about the brick layers is that they tend to go on pretty fast. Just piles up. Do here. I know I've mentioned this on stream before, but using these four by two full-size bricks totally reminds me of just playing with Lego as, as a kid on your own, and coming up with different shapes and stuff. It is a little bit uneven now, still. Step. For those, for those, two, yeah, so I count was off, I guess, unless it's, there's something coming that I can't see. Was always jealous of your cousin that had Mechano Lego. Yeah, I had. We had. Um, does anybody remember constructs? I don't know whether that was a North American thing, but I had a lot of constructs, and they were like different kind of building toy. They had like ropes and pulleys and stuff too, which is. 
I'm not sure why the, the middle, like the inside is being built up because it doesn't need to be, but. loud sorry here we go to denmark to check out the lego house in Billund, kind of like a children's museum history museum for lego i've seen uh documentaries on the building yeah for sure uh with entry you get assigned your own personal combination of six two by four red bricks oh really what's what's the combination why is it like is the way that they're connected, you mean? Um, you mean Technic Lego, Sandy? Maybe that's what you mean? It's the one with the motors and stuff. Okay, we've got all of those. Both of those other things, so we'll connect those up now. Cogwheels and things, yeah, Lego Technic. Some of the Lego Technic cars, like if you like Technic, then some of the vehicles that they make are really cool. I think I was talking about this on, uh, I wanna say it was on Siddle Cafe. Um, but I saw somebody that had a bunch of the Lego Technic, like Ferraris, Camaros, um, McLarens, the sports, the fancy sports cars, the supercars. And they had them um, built, but then mounted vertically. So like, if this was your, if this was your picture frame, then they had the car on the picture frame with LEDs all around it in the same color as the car. So if it was a yellow Lamborghini, it would be yellow LEDs. And then they had them all in their garage mounted on the wall like that. And they're all facing up. It was really cool looking just as like a fun way to decorate, decorate your space, you know? And they were obviously someone that was into like cars and mechanics and car parts and probably tinkering around and stuff. It was really cool. We've got four of these. These all get doubled up. Both Lego House and Lego Land are worth a visit. Um, I'm about 100 kilometers away. My kids love both places. That's awesome. Uh, yes, they connect the six studs together in any direction, as far as I know. Something like over 9 million different ways you can combine this, those six blocks. Oh, wow. Interesting. I wonder if they like let you know that you have the same combination as somebody else if you choose it. And I've got a piece left over. 
235. Yeah, weirdly, I've got an extra one of those and an extra one of those, despite the fact that I had things counted right. And this does not go on yet because it looks like the next phase is going to continue to build up the tower through the windows. All of this is going to be a lot easier to do from the tabletop. So we will wait and do that next time. But to kind of give you an idea, if I pull this into frame, So this is going to go, I believe, on here. Like that. When the time comes. Obviously, we're not going to do it now. And it will be very tricky when we actually do it. Um, that's why I don't think it's a big deal that there's a little white piece going right there. Because it's going to be on the inside. Cool. The next time we'll be working on the next levels of that. Uh, and the plan is for that to be next Friday. So uh, what I'm going to do today is uh, switch over to Satisfactory. Uh, I will end the stream briefly just to make sure that I get a separate VOD for Joel Duggan VODs on YouTube. But we will be switching over to Satisfactory and continuing to build in that for the rest of the afternoon. We started working on some of the copper decoration in Devastator yesterday, and I'd like to kind of pick up where that left off. And you can, um, of course, follow all of the Lego builds on Joel Duggan VODs. There is a playlist for each set, and there is a playlist for all of 2024, as well as 2023, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So if you're looking for um, some of the more recent stuff that I've done, then you can always check out the playlists over on Joel Duggan VODs. If you'd like to support the channel, uh, check out uh, patreon.com slash joel duggan it's one of the best ways to support what i do you can also do things like sub like hermes akumu and mick screw gun today thank you ever so much for those always good to have you guys on board appreciate it uh once again i am continuing to stream so don't go anywhere i'm just going to take a short break and make myself a cup of coffee and also uh quickly end the vod and restart a starting soon for satisfactory so i will be back in just a few minutes hold tight to talk amongst yourselves Get snacks, get drinks, and I'll be right back. See you next time for Lego.